Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Committed Gaming. I am Flute5311, and we are here on week 74, year 2, week 19 of Destiny, and Zer is hanging out down here on the balcony by the speaker. Um, while we're walking down here, I'm going to tell you that um, we are going to be doing our Destiny School video this morning. We'll be on the gunsmith, you know, how to level him up, um, what exotic quests get done by doing the gunsmith, and you know, kind of where to farm things and you know the the gun rolls that are, that you're typically looking for. So down here we've got Zer. Good morning, Zer. Let's see what we got. Zer, to be honest with you, didn't bring a lot this week in my opinion. Um, we have the Immolation Fist, which I think is the only thing really worth buying here. It adds explosive pyre for your Sunbreaker Titans. This allows you to spec into flame seeking, so they seek a little bit better. And so that's a really good combination. This is kind of the best, uh, one of the odd option for PvP, in my opinion. So there's that for the Titan. For the Hunter, you have the Radiant Dance Machines. I'm not a big fan of these, um, just because I think there are other options for the, for, at least for my gameplay, for the Hunter. Um, but uh, they allow you to move all really, really quick. Um, if you pair this with a Mida or with Keen Scout, um, it makes you quite quick and a really hard target to hit. So if you like, if you're one of those people who really likes high, high agility and be able to just skate around the map and get everywhere, this is a really good option for you. Next, we have the Stag. I think this is a stupid helmet, to be honest with you. Once per life, you're super. Charges faster when all your teammates are dead. That's stupid. And then you have a chance to respawn with an overshield. I don't. I don't know. I don't like it. I think it's. I don't like things where basically you have to be the last guardian standing. Like no, I depend on my teammates a little bit better than that. <laughs> you know. Um, and the final thing here we have the weapon, the Cirrus regime. Cirrus regime. Um, it's had a back and forth history. At the beginning of the game, of Vanilla Destiny, this gun was a god gun. It was amazing. All you heard during Iron Banner for the like the first four or five, six, seven Iron Banners was ding, 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 ding. That's kind of the sound this gun makes. And it's all you ever heard. It is a very pretty weapon. The year one version was white. The year two is just kind of this charcoal gray. Um, they added this perk here. They, they, they kind of split the perk here, um, focused fire or spinning up. So you can either have the higher rate of fire or the slower, hard, harder hitting one, which is kind of nice. Um, its main perk here, the bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on a kill. So it's okay. Um, again, this gun has gone back and forth. It's still This is a, still a very viable gun. People still love to use this gun. I just don't, I don't, I have a hard time with auto rifles in general, all across the board. I just don't do well with auto rifles. I'd rather um, pick and choose my shots. I, I have a slower, um, I do better with slower firing weapons or, you know, single shot weapons. Um, I can't sit there and hold my t reticle over somebody's head for that long for a bullet hose to kill them. So that's kind of my opinion on the Soros regime. I, it's, again, it's a very good weapon in the right hands. But I think right now the meta is changing. With the announcement last night, three-person uh, three person game modes, that they're not going to have special on the um, off the break. I think that's going to make the Mida an even stronger weapon. It's basically going to turn into your you know team shot sniper rifles. If you have a team of Midas now, they're just going to team shoot you down, I think, off the break. I think that's going to be kind of the new meta that they just kind of reinforced the Mida multi-tool a little bit. But we'll see. I am very excited about that change. I am glad that... You, um, you cannot have special off the break, so we'll see what that means for um, trials. It's going to be a huge game changer in trials because all the trials is getting that early pick with the sniper and then collapsing on the rest of the team. So we will see how that how that changes the game. Our legacy item is the special, so that's cool. And your normal stuff down here. So that does it for Zer. Stay tuned for later today. We'll have Destiny School on the Gunsmith, and then I'll probably be streaming some Dark Souls. Two a little bit. I just picked it up yesterday. I basically have not gotten anywhere. I might do a kind of a let's play style and watch people be struggling in the world of Dark Souls. It's pretty fun. Um, I played about five hours last night and got nowhere. Uh, Smooth Flipper and I were in a party. He's been playing a little bit longer than me. Um, we're just kind of getting ready for Dark Souls 3 coming out here in April. So thanks everybody for tuning in. I'm Flute5311 and to all you gamers out there, stay committed.